ladies and gentlemen welcome back to exotic astrology and wish you a very very happy gowardhan puja festival i wish i was there in vrindavan today to enjoy the festival yes 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 those of you who are lucky enough to be there please enjoy the festival and you can pray for me also <laughs> or you are in any other holy place like jagannath puri or you are in shirangam or you are in kanchipuram or you are in varanasi or any other place then it's a great day to pray today okay it is more important to pray today than to pray in diwali all right so today we will see that the connection there's a there's a connection between the dusthana houses in astrology yes the 6th house the 8th house and the 12th house connection between the dusthanas and this gowardhan puja festival well now you may be thinking how in the universe is there a link okay so we will see that today and if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it you will find the subscription button here somewhere there red color <laughs> and if you want a consultation from me regarding anything in your life your affair your career your marriage your health then you can always go to my website to book a reading you will find the link of the website also in the description somewhere here below <laughs> and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him just like the residents of rindavan found lord krishna when there was downpour of rain all right so we all know the story of gordhan parvat that when the rajvasis did not offer oblations to the king of the heavens indra that then indra became very angry and then he sent the samvartaka clouds this story is vividly described in the 10th canto of shrimad bhagavatam should i repeat 10th canto of the shrimad bhagavatam this is vividly described there so then what happened was lord krishna wanted to protect the residents of vrindavan as expected and then lord krishna instructed everybody that please go and take shelter in the gowardhan mountain you go there and i will do some magic <laughs> and then everybody goes to gowardhan parvat and gowardhan is a mountain actually it's there in vindavan and uh, i also visited it uh, around a month back when i was there in vindavan september 28th around i visited it so now it is not very high the size is shrinking as uh, there is a curse i guess to the gowardhan parvat that every day or every month or every year you will shrink by the size of a rice there's some curse like that so it keeps shrinking every time we see it so uh, then what happened was lord krishna he took the gowardhan parvat and he lifted it in this this finger you see of the left hand the pinky finger then when he lifted it he lifted it for around 7 days 7 days 7 nights and all the residents of vrindavan had taken shelter there and the samvartaka clouds went to indra and said that that's it we have extinguished all our resources all our rain our thunder our storm our winds everything is finished all our tsunami everything is finished we cannot terrorize anybody anymore and then indra understood that krishna is uh, none other than vishnu himself he is god himself so Indra went and begged forgiveness to Lord Krishna from Lord Krishna and Lord Krishna forgave for he forgave him very well and Indra also got a lesson that he is just a mediator in the arrangement of Lord Vishnu so but the thing is uh, that Gowardhan mountain which is which Krishna lifted in his left hand that mountain is compared to our sins of the past yes our sins of the past which are seen by the dusthana houses sins or our weaknesses or our those activities which we have not improved <laughs> either ways you can say because wherever there is weakness there we commit sin yes so whichever planets are there in the dusthanas the 6th house the 8th house the 12th house basically what the dusthanas are The sixth house is one of the dusthanas they also say third house but primarily it is the three houses sixth house is the house of burden is the house of punishment yes 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 sixth house is the house of punishment whichever planet is in the sixth house during the dasha of that planet 
you might feel as if you are undergoing some kind of a punishment in life. It is sixth house shows all the health troubles. Yes, sixth house shows divorce. It shows separation. It is a, uh, it is showing celibacy. It is showing staying staying away from the partner. Okay, so all these things are counterparts of the sixth house. And then welcome to the eighth house, the house of depression, sexuality, scandals, obsession, extramarital affair, all addictions, anything that torments you all the time. That's the eighth house. Eighth house is also insult, loss of reputation. It, eighth house is death. It's also life, but it is death also. <laughs> Twelfth house is the house of imprisonment. Twelfth house shows our losses, anything that we want, but it goes away from us. Twelfth house shows seclusions, loneliness, all the things which we do not want that it goes away from us. Those things are there in the twelfth house. All right. So now the thing is that those things which are related to the sixth, eighth and twelfth houses, they are the ones which give us all the trouble in life. All right. Of course, they don't give us trouble, but we have only put them there because of which that reflection is there in the horoscope. But the point is that our sins are compared to the Gordhan mountain. Yes, they are very, 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 very heavy. And when those desires come, they attack us. We cannot protect ourselves. But only Lord Krishna can lift the Gordhan mountain. So, when we try to lift the mountain of our sins, we cannot do it. It's impossible. Because it is very heavy. Because we have been indulging in wrong activities from hundreds and thousands and tens and millions and billions and trillions of lifetimes. We have lost count. It is said that the living entity has lost count of its material lifetimes. You cannot count how many lifetimes you have been there in this material world. Today you are in a dog's body, cat's body. Tomorrow you are in an elephant's body. Then you are in a human's body. Then your body, in, you, you are in the body of a man. You are in the body of a woman. That cycle is going on. So we are not able to get out of it because of our sins. So much sins, so many sins we have committed because of which we are suffering in this material world. So when we pray to Lord Krishna, do spiritual practices to connect with him at a divine level, at a higher level, then we can experience the bliss of a sinful life. So when we cultivate spiritual consciousness by meeting spiritual personalities, by reading the scriptures, by doing mantras in the morning, by maintaining a life which is in sattva guna, sattvic nature, and by praying to him for divine enlightenment, and by visiting holy places and by serving great souls. Mat sevanam api dwara vimukteshu. By serving great souls, the doors to liberation open. Rishabh Dev says to the most esteemed of his sons, Bharat Maharaj, in Srimad Bhagavatam. <laughs> Fifth canto, this is there. Mat sevanam api dwara vimukteshu. So whenever you get the chance to serve a great personality, some great sadhu or some saint, don't lose it. All right? And you can serve them in any way. You can give them monetary donations or you can ask them if uh, you can be of some help to them. Or you can give them clothes, food or what, whatever. Whatever is possible in your reach. Or simply if you can't do anything, you can just pray for them. <laughs> or you can help them spread their mission. All right, that is, That's the best help you can do. That you can help somebody spread their mission. That what they want to do in life, you help them in spreading them also. In spreading that word also. So by that, you will be blessed. All right. And when we read the scriptures like the Srimad Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam, Rama and Mahabharata, when we read these scriptures daily, every day around 10 minutes or 15 minutes or 20 minutes or half an hour or one hour, my God, depending on your schedule. And you chant mantras and you maintain a good lifestyle, vegetarian diet, you give up violence, you do not eat meat, then we will feel that Lord Krishna is gradually lifting the mountain of our sins like this. And the thing is, for us, it's like a mountain. We cannot lift a mountain. It's impossible. We'll die. But for him, he can lift it very easily. 
yes generally the left hand is considered weak generally and that to this finger is the weakest yes this finger is the weakest weakest so krishna had lifted the entire mountain in this finger to show that that which is impossible for you to lift i can just lift it with this finger and that to the that top which is very soft you see but he lifted it effortlessly he lifted it so when we also pray to him we also do spiritual practices you can sing bhajans you can visit vrindavan you can visit mathura you can visit the holy places my god so amazing they are i visited on in september i still remember those places and whenever you go there you get uh, you you go and talk to the spiritual personalities who are there the sampradayas who are there the gurus the rishis yes and then we will see that gradually our life has become free from sin yes we have stopped doing all the wrong activities indulging in illicit sex gambling or anything eating meat yes these are activities which degrade us which degrade our consciousness and in, in any kind of intoxication alcohol cigarettes smoking drinking anything like that so then we will feel that the mountain of sins is not affecting us anymore although it is still there but krishna will come and lift it all right and then you will see that the planets which are in the dustana houses they will not torment you much they will not trouble you they will still trouble you but you will be able to you will be able to withstand just like the vrijvasis could withstand indra's wrath and they were protected and at the end of 7 days 7 nights indra surrendered so that's what i want to say and i will not say much because everybody knows about this festival but i just wanted to say that how to get freedom from the planets which are in the dustanas all right so there you go if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is interested to know how to get freedom from their planets which are in dustanas and if you want a consultation from me regarding the planets in your dustanas or in any other house then you can please go to my website to book a reading you will find the link to the website in the description section of this video and if you have not yet subscribed to it then please subscribe to the channel and you can watch all the other videos which i have and especially the bhagavad gita playlist which i have okay god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will hopefully find him no no you will surely find him okay at least today you will find him okay bye bye see you